Alrighty, what's going on everybody? My name's Lothwonger, ladies and gentlemen. Today was the release date for this lovely thing right here. And that is obviously the Nintendo Switch. So, not only did I pick up the Switch, I also did pick up a Pro Controller, two games, and this right here, the Starter Pack. And that's exactly what this is going to be an unboxing for. So this is something that was an EB Games slash GameStop exclusive, I believe. And the Starter Pack comes to us from Biogenic, that's the name of the company. It comes with a case. It comes with Joy-Con covers. It comes with a screen protector, which I'm actually a little bit hesitant to use just due to the fact that I wonder if that will affect the touch screen capabilities of the Switch. It also comes with a screen cleaner, cleaner sorry, which is important because you can see I barely use this thing. Hey, by the way, there I am. Uh, but there's already like dust and fingerprints all over this thing. So that's probably something that I'm pretty happy about. I think that these are D-pad covers or analog stick covers so that'll be interesting as far as like if that makes and things any more comfortable or not and a piece or a set of headphones so uh, I think that this thing retailed for I, I want to say $25 total so like you get all that stuff for 25 bucks which is not too bad because I think the case by itself is 15 I think the screen protector is like seven or eight dollars um, so all that other stuff is obviously going to be worth more than the price of admission so the packaging is pretty simple not too much to it it looks like as soon as you slide out the case you have a really really cool little switch biogenic logo in the bottom corner there so let's open it up and take a look at what we've got inside oh wow okay that's actually kind of surprising it's got little covers right here to make sure that the switch doesn't go rattling around in the package it has a little pouch area right here so you could store some of your games or maybe your headphones or anything like that along with it i will say that i also am happy that it's not just a cloth basically sock for the uh, Switch, which they do have that one available as well, but this is like a, more of a hard case, so it's actually really, really nice in terms of like, it will hopefully protect your uh, Switch quite well. So let's start with the bottom part, which seems to have this component right here, and that is the uh, little covers for the grips. Actually, were they black or were they? Oh, okay, yeah, I thought for some reason it was blue. Okay, that's interesting. So it's a black and uh, red color scheme for the entire product here. So let's go on ahead and slide off our Joy-Cons. The way to do that is, of course, by pressing the button back here and then pulling on them. So we'll remove them off the main part of the switch and we'll just set the switch aside for now. And now let's take a look at how this fits in here. So I think I just need to kind of like slide this on over like so i'm pretty sure at least uh so the interesting thing is that adding these little grips onto here i already feel a lot more comfortable holding these because they add this extra little bump to make them feel more like controllers and i think that that's a really really nice addition because personally speaking i'm not a big fan of holding the joy cons by themselves i don't know they just feel kind of flimsy uh they're, they have good ha uh, weight to them so not flimsy due to like the quality of the product they just feel like i don't know they feel a little too small and just not particularly natural to operate um a console or i guess a controller this way again it might be something that will go away the more i use them but i have to say i thought that this stuff was going to suck and i thought it was going to be kind of useless and i'll just throw that away but i could totally see myself using these because it really adds a lot of comfort level uh to this now i wonder will that have an impact on the actual switch like holding it like this Hmm, and that's interesting. It does actually make things a bit more comfortable. So very, very, very surprised by that, pleasantly so. All right, so let's set aside the switch and continue with what else is in here. So we have our screen protector and sc uh, screen cleaner here. Please peel off this mask before application. All right, so I'm not gonna put on the screen protector. You can kind of get an idea of how it would fit on though. Uh, so it would be this way right here because it has a little cutout to go around that. So protect the screen at about that size right there. Obviously it's not gonna have this uh, kind of weird haziness to it because once you remove the mask, it will be a much cleaner uh, look. So there you go. Uh, so that is included and then we have this nice little cloth that you would typically get like almost with like I would guess What is this soft card? I wonder what that means a soft card is that to like clean stuff? Oh, I know what this is for uh, It's for when you're applying the uh, screen protector to remove the air bubbles so you could like slide that across the screen So that that's probably what it is uh, So here's the little cloth 
that comes along with it. And again, as long as you keep this thing protected and uh, safe and don't lose it, you could store it in the case and then clean your screen so that it goes from the mess that it was a moment ago to being nice and clean like this, where the reflective surface is like way, way better. Look at that, boom, you can see the camera, you can see me really, really, really well there. So that's pretty awesome. Again, very handy. It's one of those things that is a very small detail, but I'm totally gonna be using that, so that's great. Uh, we also do have some headphones. I think this is pretty standard fare. These are not like fancy headphones or anything like that. I think it's pretty much the type of headphones you'd get at like a dollar store. So obviously it's not gonna be like Beats headphones or anything like that. So there you go. Standard size, it looks like it doesn't have like any other uh, uh, sizes to like put onto here if your ears are a different size. Uh, what is this here? Uh, is this like some sort of a warranty type thing? Yeah, so this is your warranty card. And then this I'm actually really interested in because I wonder how much of an impact this thing will make as well. And these are little covers for the actual uh, sticks. Now, you know what? I think it'd be kind of cool to mix it up and have the black stick on the red side here. So, okay, so they kind of fit on. Oh, no, never mind. There we go. That fits perfectly. Okay, I was a little worried because it wasn't really fitting on there for a moment there, but I think I got it. I think I got it. And it shows you also kind of like real time just how much of a pain it is to put these on or isn't a pain. Uh, so this one's not going, there we go. Okay, so uh, that's kind of the additional grip. Um, I wouldn't say that it makes a huge difference. I, I would say that these little things make quite the difference because they add this extra bulge. Like typically this wouldn't be here, it'd be really flat, right? So you don't have this like traditional controller feel. Like, you know how a lot of controllers have this little bump so it feels a lot more natural to hold it this way, which is kind of interesting. I mean, I would say that these are probably a nice addition. They definitely wouldn't hurt, I would imagine, right? Because why not have something else to hold on to? It gives you a little bit of extra grip. But I wouldn't say that these little handles aren't necessary. Now, with all that in mind, here is the real test, and that is whether or not it fits into the case while having those additional little bulging components on there because I'm actually interested to see if they don't or they do. Wow, it actually fits perfectly. And then we, again, could put away some stuff in here like our headphones, for example, and our cleaning cloth. Obviously, you'd probably want to store that in a little baggie as well so that it doesn't get dust on it. But then we can just close things up like so. And boom, you got your carrying case all ready to rock and ready to roll. And you are ready to dive into some Switch gameplay on the go. So I would totally recommend getting a case. It doesn't have to be this case. Again, I wasn't like paid by Biogenic or anything like that. I bought this case just because it seemed like it was a pretty good price and a pretty good deal overall. So again, I don't know how long this will last. So I can't really vouch for that. Obviously, maybe this thing will fall apart in a week or something like that. And maybe those uh, little grips for the Joy-Cons will feel terrible in a, a little while. Like maybe they'll start coming loose and just stretching way out. I'm not sure. But having just kind of opened this thing up as a first impressions, I have to say, I'm very, very, very pleasantly surprised by the quality of the um, case. Like it feels really nice. It doesn't feel like something that is cheap, you know? So I think that's pretty awesome. So with all that in mind, ladies and gents, let me know what you think of the starter pack here. Let me know also if you picked up a Nintendo Switch and whether or not you're happy with it, yay or nay, let me know down in the comment section below. I will hopefully catch each and every single one of you lovely, lovely folks here next time. And of course, peace out, see you later. Alligators. Bye-bye, everyone.